Hey, welcome to the Morning Mix After Show. You know, today we did a three style on scary movies, of which I do not like them at all. Uh, but it led me to this other story here. Did you guys, uh, how many of us have seen the original The Exorcist? I'm a no. Whip, yes. yes. No, Nikki, no. yes. No. Okay. I know the big famous scene of the spinning head and the vomit. I've seen that mm-hmm. part of it. Well, now they got the new one, The Exorcist Believer. That just came out like a week or two ago. Uh, or is it out now? Is it already out? I think the, it's out. Yeah, that's the one I th- with Leslie Odom Jr. That's right. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, they so that's out. They moved it up a week to, they beat, moved it to up. beat the Taylor that's Swift right. movie to the punch. I think they were supposed to be out that same day. According to the Daily Star, people are wearing adult diapers to see The Exorcist, The Believer, because one moviegoer posted, y'all, do not go watch The Exorcist. I just asked my pants mid-movie. Oh. Another wrote, ready for the day. I'm going to the movies, going to see The Exorcist, Believer, and I'm ready to get scared and pee my pants. I'm wearing a diaper. Ah, oh, man. I mean, Swifties did this, though. They yeah, were, they, they were, were wearing, wearing the diapers yeah, to go to the concert. And that was because they didn't want to leave the theater right. to miss anything, the, the concert venue. Right. These people are planning to be so scared that they lose control of their bowels, That's which crazy. begs the question, <laughs> when's the last time we all asked our pants? <laughs> Who wants to go first? Nobody? Thinking. I was Thinking like about eight. it? Eight? Okay. I was on a road trip with like 10 people in the car. Oh, man. I was man. napping. Oh, and it happened while you were asleep? Yeah, so I didn't even really knew, know that it Dang, happened. Dang, woke up. You guys what's that smell? Everybody was like, what is that smell? And I realized it was me. And I had to whisper to my mom. And oh my, my dad's God. like, we're not pulling over. And she's like, I think you're going to have to pull over for this one. Dang. So S your pants or like peed your pants a little? I think full on S. I, I think it's got to be. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about tomorrow. <laughs> Please. I didn't know anyone would actually reveal it. I was just going to joke and say, just, that's it for today. Yeah. Since I was ready to go. I was young. What yeah, are you going to do? do? I what didn't happens? know. Uh, so I think the adult diaper thing is, this is funny to me. Yeah. You guys probably never listen to Cubs games on the radio. I listen to Cubs games on the radio sometimes in the summer, even though it's on a different radio station. I come back and I enjoy Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, etc. Yeah, I go of course. back for an inning and yeah. I Who can blame toggle me? back and forth. Anyway, they're sponsored by a company that is called North Shore Adult Diapers. The reason I bring this up is because it used to be depends undergarment. So they would use these euphemisms. Yes, they wouldn't the say the word. The company itself would yeah. not be called so-and-so adult diapers, but apparently the adult diaper companies are leaning into it now. It's like, yeah, we're diapers and so what? Yeah, come get we it. We don't care who knows it. Oops, I crap my pants. <laughs> yeah, oh my yes. God. It's right, so great, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, so I just thought that was an interesting evolution of the adult Man. diaper world. Well, not to leave Violetta out alone, uh, <laughs> this was... Uh, like four years ago, uh, I was sick with a stomach problem and I was in bed and uh, now I didn't technically ask my pants, but I guess I kind of did. I had what one would describe as a wet fart. You know, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. I was so sick. I had been doing it both ends for like two days. I was exhausted. I was dehydrated. I was in the bed. I was like a zombie. And I thought I was like, oh, maybe I'm in the clear. And I was not in the clear. Uh, that was a rough moment. You gambled and lost. I took a it whole big L. It happens to everyone. Took a big everyone L. in their life yeah. has gambled and lost yeah. at some point. Have any of you guys had colonoscopies yet? No, not yet. Oh, not yeah. Yet. I was not part yet. of that All fun right. club. High five. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, if if any time is a candidate for you That's to gonna be do it. that, you should prepare for that to yeah. be at least a good possibility. Our, yeah. My friend Lily uh, just went through that. Uh, she's had it in her family, so she decided. And uh, she did a whole Instagram story thing of her prep. And about halfway through, she was like, this is no joke. This prep is rough, man. Yes. It's uh, it's funny. Yeah. In my personal experience, I thought I was kind of like, and I think this is common. I don't know. Like, I don't think it's working. Maybe this stuff doesn't work on me. Maybe I got to do something else. Nothing's happening. (laughs) I got to go to Taco Bell. And once it starts, man, do you long for five minutes ago when you didn't think it was working? Because then it is like nothing you've ever seen And don't they say, like, you can't question it. Like, if you're going to. Do any sort of bottle, you got to sit down. Yeah, you on can't the take couch. a gamble. Just stay in there. No. Just stay in yeah. there. Yeah, just That's live fine. in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. boy. I can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. It's good stuff. Woo! Well, be sure to get your colonoscopy. It is worth it and it is important. So go do that. But this is the Morning Mix After Show. You can hear us live weekdays from 5 30 to 10 on 101.9 The Mix or listen on the free mix app. It's in the Apple App Store and Google Play. We will see you tomorrow. Crap in your pants on the Morning Mix.